and welcome. My name's uh, Professor Stephen Rain. I'm the Head of Agricultural, Civil and Environmental Engineering at the uh, University of Southern Queensland. Thank you for considering studying engineering at the University of Southern Queensland. We offer a range of programs depending on what your interests are uh, and you might, uh, for example, you might want to be uh, part of creating sustainable food and, sustain and fibre industries managing land, water or environmental resources or constructing the infrastructure and buildings for the future. In any of these areas, we have degree qualifications that will suit you and your future. There's a fair bit of overlap between these courses as well. So if you're a little worried about which area you might go into initially, don't worry about it. Uh, you can start in one of the programs and shift across to another area at some later point in time. Let's take a, a, uh, a closer look at each of the main program areas. In agricultural engineering, students learn about agricultural production, precision agriculture, soils, irrigation, agricultural machinery, tillage, post-harvest technologies. As an agricultural engineer in the profession, you might design a machine to peel mangoes, develop robotic harvesters, redesign farms to improve irrigation efficiency, or design feedlots to reduce odours. You might also work on tillage systems to reduce greenhouse gases, or evaluate sites and pumping systems for water management on farms. If you're interested in environmental engineering, uh, you're going to be concerned with rural and regional environmental issues, anything from sustainable cities, managing limited water supplies, ensuring the quality of our air, land and water resources, or even rehabilitating disturbed lands such as mine sites. In the course, you're going to learn all about air, land and water resource management, the impacts of development and the design and management of sustainable systems. If you're interested in building the future, then you're probably interested in civil engineering. The civil engineering program helps you solve problems related to the design, construction and management of our built infrastructure. You're going to learn about engineering materials, construction uh, management, geotechnical engineering, concrete structures, uh, structural design, stress analysis, transport engineering, hydraulics, hydrology, problem solving and public health engineering. If you're studying at USQ, you'll see that we have a whole range of courses and that you have a high degree of flexibility in the courses and the way in which you study those programs. You can choose from studying full-time, part-time or a combination of both. In ag civil environmental engineering, we've got a whole lot of companies that provide cadetships and sponsored uh, uh, scholarships so that you might want to actually start full-time study but then finish the degree on a cadetship where you're working full-time and studying part-time. Degree qualifications at USQ uh, are offered at a range of levels. So we've got the two-year associate degree in engineering offered across the ag, civil and environmental disciplines, the three-year Bachelor of Engineering Technology, uh, which is offered across all three, as well as the Infrastructure Management major, and then the four-year Bachelor of Engineering degree program, uh, which is offered across the ag, civil and environmental majors. All of these programs are fully articulated. And that means that you can come in uh, in a two-year course and if, you're, uh, if you'll complete that course, then you'll be able to articulate up, if you're interested, into the three-year or the four-year program. If you change your mind, as I said before, between one of the majors, then we're certainly able to help you change from one major to another. We recognise the training needs of industry and that the university uh, qualifications are complementary. And if you have been working in industry or have achieved some qualification from another uh, institution, then we'll look at uh, providing appropriate credit for that study. There's a number of areas where USQ engineering stands out from the other uh, options for you. At USQ, our class sizes are small. That means that we know the name of most of our students. It means that you can talk directly to the lecturer if you've got a concern and we will hear your concerns. Throughout your study, you'll find that we have not only a strong focus on the academic issues, but also on the practical issues. And what that means is that you'll do practical courses 
practical work where you work together in small groups, where you do hands-on activities and you get to put your academic learnings into practice. We've also got a strong focus on using technology for learning. So we've got online resources, study packages, online discussion groups. And if you want to review lectures online, no problems with that as well. We've got a lot of equipment, a lot of resources in relation to laboratories. Laboratories ranging from robotics and mechatronics through transport modelling, hydraulics, structural engineering. We've even got an agricultural field station where you can do irrigation soils related work. The Ag Seal Environmental Discipline is closely linked with a range of research centres. So you might not be thinking that far in advance at the moment, but at some point in time you might be interested in going on and to know that your work is being part of the cutting edge of the future. So, how can you move forward? Well, if you're a bit hesitant about uh, what area you want to study in or what degree program you should be going into, you should certainly be talking to one of our staff members. We'd certainly be happy to answer any of your questions uh, or if you just want to touch base with us, just to feel us out, feel free to do that. There will be some scholarships uh, for engineering students uh, in 2010 and we hope to release that information later in the year, so please have a look at our website. If you want to find out more about agricultural, civil and environmental engineering, then check out the website at these links. Thank you.